Example number five on page 118. We are still rationalizing the denominator. In this example, you'll see that the, denom the denominators are appearing to be a little bit more complex than the previous one. So let's take a look at different strategies as to how we can tackle these denominators. So the first denominator here, you'll notice that has um, a, a coefficient as well as a, very, um, a radicand. So one of the ways that we can do this is now think about, I only need to rationalize the radical part of this number, which is root 7. So I will only multiply with root 7, uh, both the numerator and the denominator here, which means in the denominator, there's already a 3 times a 7. So root 7 and root 7 ended up becoming 7. In the numerator, we have 7 root 7. Now this will end up becoming... Um, 7 over 21, or you can just reduce the 7 and 7 right away. Either way, whichever way you like to do this, you know that this will end up becoming 1 over 3 root 7. So one way is to look at your monomial and only multiply with the radical part. Sometimes you forget that, and you may actually end up multiplying by the entire denominator. It's okay. You could do that as well. What will be the difference at that point? The numbers will just be higher and you'll have to reduce them more in the end. So here you will end up getting 21 root 7. In the denominator, the 9 and the 3 and the 3 will give you a 9. And the root 7 and root 7 will give you a 7. So you'll notice that this is a room number 3 and 3. So that does become the 9 root 7 and root 7 just become a 7, okay? So what will happen to that one? It will become 21 root 7 over 63, which again reduces down to just 1 over 3 root 7. So we get the exact same answer. This just had higher numbers in them, okay? Same thing, talking about bigger numbers, if you look at example number C here, part C, you notice that you have really big numbers, so if you went and went ahead and said root 72 times root 72, and then think about it, 12 times 72, that's a big numbers. So you have a few different things you can do here. One could be to simplify 12 and 72 first, right? Get them to be in more simpler radical forms. Um, or you could divide 12 and 72 if it's possible. So both these strategies are available to you guys. The idea is to make your numbers smaller, okay? So you could convert this to root 4, root 3, make it simpler, convert this into 36 and 2, make it simpler. The second strategy which I'm going to use here is I'm going to just simply reduce them so the 12 and 72 actually reduce each other. This goes into 1, and this ends up becoming a 6. Okay, so this definitely made my numbers 3 and over 6 much, much smaller, right? Much easier to deal with. So then I will be able to rationalize this by multiplying both of them by root 6. This becomes 3 root 6 over 6. And now the 3 and 6 can reduce each other, so that ends up becoming 1 root 6 over 2. Okay, so again, people are going to do this different ways. The idea is to just make sure you're using the correct mathematical steps, and you will all come to that same answer. Okay, I want you to pause the video again, try part B. Remember root 18 over 5 is, you can write them as two separate. We can write them as root 18 and root 5. And then try this question. And if you get the right answer, you can move to the next example. Otherwise, we'll see in this video. So, talking about that again. So, root 18 over root 5. And again, remember what I said. You can always, there's different ways you can approach this question. Um, I don't want to deal with having to make this number even bigger. So before I rationalize it, I'm actually going to simplify my number. So I'm going to write that as root 9 root 2 over root, root 5. This has nothing to do with rationalization right now. This is just making my numbers much smaller.
So at this point, I have simplified my numbers and now I'm going to rationalize. So this gives me 5, 3, root 10. So that's my final answer. If you hadn't simplified it earlier, you would have had um, root 18. You would have had the same answer. The difference is your numbers would have been a little bit bigger. So that would have given you, I believe, root 90. All right, root 90. And then you would have to simplify this. So same answer, just bigger numbers.